All right, how's everybody doing today? Back again with another video for you guys. And real quick, just wanted to make this video real quick. So I know recently I just dropped my unboxing and first impressions of the Amazon HD Fire 10, the 10.1 inch tablet from Amazon. And as I said, I picked it up around Black Friday time where it was on sale for $50 off. It, um, typically it goes for about $150. It was on sale for $50 off. So about $100. So I figured why not. But then I went a step further and um, for eligible customers Amazon has a payment program. And as I said in the video um, didn't have any issues with the payment program or the equipment installment plan with T-Mobile. So I figured why not give Amazon a try. So out the box, um, as I said in the unboxing video, I paid $27. And then it's going to be $20 for five months. Okay. So that being said, um, in my original unboxing video, I told you guys that I will give the Amazon OS a chance you know and that is true but some of the quirks really really got on my nerves in particular the YouTube ports because I am a YouTube content creator but YouTube in general is one of my um, best sources for media consumption. I consume a lot of YouTube. I'm not even going to lie. So. I figured I'd give the Amazon App Store a chance. But a lot of their YouTube apps. Were ports of the web browser. And I noticed. That while watching the videos. Via the web browser. They, they just don't look as sharp. And okay. I figured okay. Maybe I can go in. And adjust the resolution. Similar to what you could do on Chrome and YouTube in the web browser, you can still adjust the resolution. But a lot of these ports on the Amazon App Store, you can't do that. So I tried about five. And the last one, I sorted the Amazon App Store in um, highest customer rated because you can do that. You can sort it in the highest customer rated and it was still the same. So, didn't like that. That really got on my nerves. Another thing that really got on my nerves is the, the keyboard. The Amazon keyboard is just, ah, it's, it's really frustrating. Especially considering that and I'm an avid Google user and that Gboard, yes, that's some good stuff. Yes. And another thing that got on my nerves is... You guys know, I took, try to jam-pack my videos with as much information as possible so you guys can make the most, um, you know, informative purchase. This way you feel comfortable before you spend your hard-earned money. Well, certain things about the Amazon HD10 um, Fire 10 tablet, I couldn't find. You guys know... Typically, I like to do the resolution, give you the pixel density, um, give you the battery size, give you the battery life, all that good stuff. Well, initially, with the Amazon App Store, I couldn't find some of my major um, benchmarking tools. Um, one in particular was GPS test. I used that to test the GPS. Um... Another one was the Antutu benchmark, which gives me all of the info on the software of any particular device that I run it on. So I can really find out, okay, this this product said they have 2 gigs of RAM. Well, I go into Antutu, I go into info, and it tells me the true RAM available. Um, so yeah, li little stuff like that. And then, in particular, with like the cameras and what have you, um, 
and I set it in my unboxing. The cameras are there. There are no go. But if you need to make a quick video call or what have you, and you must, you can. So stuff like that, using the apps on the Amazon App Store, couldn't really find what I was looking for. So as a result, you can see right here, I went ahead and loaded the Google Play Store on the Amazon um, Fire HD 10. So now I have full Google Play Store support alongside the Amazon App Store. <laughs> so now I'll be able to give a full informative review and let you guys know how I really feel about it unencumbered. So yeah. That's my main reason for making this real quick video. Ooh, your, your boy needs shave. And I need a good haircut too. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. Anyways, that's all this real quick video was about. Just letting you guys know that I did manage to sideload the Google Play Store. So I can get a little bit more of the apps that I'm used to um, on regular Google devices. Now... I can change the launcher. I did not do that because, again, I want to give y'all as close to the stock experience as possible. If you're um, thinking about picking up the um, the Fire HD 10, I'll have all links to where to purchase it in the video description. I do think it's still on sale, and it may be on sale for a little while, so I'll have links to where to purchase it in the video description. As well as, I will provide a link to a video that really helped me on how to install the Google Play Store without having root access or anything like that. So that link will be down below in the video description as well. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, please help your boy out and give it a thumbs up. That really does help me out. You don't know how much. If you want to see more raw, uncut content like this, Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click off the notification bell icon right next to it so you get notified when I post new videos. And as always, if you guys know anyone out there looking for some high quality, affordable devices and products at some really great prices, please share with them my channel because I'm doing this for everyone because we all deserve the best. Alright everyone, I hope y'all have a great day and I will catch you in my next video. Peace.